This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, we got the SEC filing charges against Binance founder uh, or just Binance entities and founder. Oh, yeah. I think he's in like Hong Kong, though. I don't know. I don't know what they're how they're going to get him. But, uh, you know, he was working uh, hand in hand with FTX for a little while. This was kind of inevitable uh they're saying that uh charges include operating unregistered exchanges broker dealers clearing agencies misrepresenting trading controls oversight on binance us platform and the unregistered offer and sale of securities he's done <laughs> not good um but you know they're not how are they going to get him back here i don't think they're going to extradite him Jada Wada, people were saying she's pregnant again. I would, I wouldn't be surprised if she wanted to have another baby with a little baby, and they keep it in the fam. You know, it doesn't want he doesn't want to have another baby mom, right? So this would make sense, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Um, <clears throat> then we get Drake. His card was declined. Uh, he was on kick promoting his uh gambling stuff because i'm pretty sure steak has a a percentage of kick it's, you know like 33 percent because a lot of people are going over there like aiden ross mm, kai almost went over there but he didn't um but anyways his card was declined <laughs> uh but you know it was for 500 dollars. do you think that drake doesn't have five hundred dollars he does uh it's just i just think it's more funny to see how in in like how close ties he is with like steak and everything it's like he's not promoting gambling <laughs> to his fans it's kind of it's interesting to me how this is all gonna shake out he makes a lot of money from that two social media influencers they always say it like that trafficking at least two million dollars worth of coke uh they got stopped in alabama during a traffic stop but their stories these two couldn't come up with a a matching story so the cops investigated and they found that hmm you guys are liars so they got they got the they got the coke and these girls are about to do a lot of time all i could say uh now this girl let's talk about this houston rapper sky the finest um she got shot in the face and she's playing that song i'm still alive and i'm like and then she also said get your money back uh i'm still alive and i was like wow <laughs> kids these days are crazy to get into it, get shot in the face, and then think that, like, oh, man, I'm going to go viral with this, and then immediately get online doing a dance? you got to be kidding me. People are nuts, man. I, I, I have no faith in the new generation. I have to be honest. It's, it's crazy. Mm. The, this is a crew of people that were charged with uh, robbing ATM machines. I guess you would see footage of them all the time, like pulling up to a store, wrapping chains around an ATM machine and pulling off. Uh, well, the, I, I, I guess it was a whole crime ring of them. Uh, the cell happened in Texas. Eight people were doing this. Um, and how much money are you going to get out of one of those little ATM machines? five grand and now you're gonna do time behind that they did they got 50 atm machines in the fort worth metroplex dallas fort dallas area mm -mm. so most def is about to go on tour uh, he announced a tour with uh erica badu um, but he's going to probably have to give the money up to the mother of his child. Say it ain't so that he is not taking care of his duties with his child's mother. 
owes eighty eight thousand dollars. I think she's in the UK or Paris. Owes her eighty eight thousand. <throat> I didn't read this. Uh, Danny Brown says tour with Childish Gambino is one of the worst tours ever. So I mean, Childish Gambino. I remember when I first did Toxic, people were like really messing with Childish Gambino, like that uh, around that time. I remember uh, when Glover asked me to go on that tour. My manager at the time was like, "You were, uh, you're gonna, you want to do this?" And I was like, "Yeah." F that, I'm trying to get on the road. Then he said, one of the worst tours I ever played. He said, the rapper explained how the tour played out as one of the most students saying, they hated my guts every night. I was getting booed off stage. I remember I was crying one night. Crying. They hate me, man. That must be a lot, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a hard time. That would be a lot to have a whole pl place just telling you you suck. It would make you question your career, so that is sad. I guess it just wasn't a good mix. This is members of Oblock praying. They're Muslim, obviously, right? Praying. What did they find a loophole in legal in the legal <laughs> strategy here? Because most of these guys, I mean, I'm not saying everyone that lives in Oblock are criminals, but this isn't the place to be. I don't know. Uh, Oblock just screams crime, but you know. I could be looking at it the wrong way. It just seems like it seems like maybe these guys found a loophole and like to not get charged in a RICO or something if they're, you know, religious prior and it's against their religious beliefs to get arrested. I don't I don't know, man. It's just it's crazy to me. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.